Hey guys, what is up? Thank you for watching a new vlog. Today we're going to be speaking to Adam Cisic, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, who is the chair uh, of the Tilburg Model United Nations here on campus. Um, Tilburg MUN, which is uh, like the short thing for that, uh, has been a little bit less active uh, uh, sometimes, but uh, they're coming back really strong. They're setting up this new uh, Tilburg Model United Nations conference, which is going to take place in City Hall with people from all over the world. I'll let Adam do most of the talk, so let's see what he has to say. Um, well, Model United Nations, is it's a, it's a platform where young students, young adults, uh, have the possibility to step into the shoes of UN ambassadors. Um, at a conference that they attend, they're assigned a country uh, that they have to represent, um, and they're assigned a committee uh, in which they will debate certain issues of global importance. So for instance, um, at my first conference, I was assigned um, to represent Swaziland um, in uh, the Human Rights Council. Uh, and we had to look at the rights of women in Africa. Uh, what we do here at Tilburg University is more of uh, a consensus-based debate or rather uh, aiming to arrive at a solution to a problem uh, through a resolution that is voted upon. Okay, so in how far do soft skills also play a role? Is it just only being able to really convey this is what my country thinks or is it also being able to very much in depth explain your argumentation or stuff well like i think that. soft skills play probably the crucial role in uh, model united nations and that is because it's not just about um sort of public speaking and expressing yourself that is a that is a very important bit to it uh, but things like critical thinking come into play things such as the ability to to negotiate with one another where you realize that to, the two of you might have completely different viewpoints. Other things include research, uh, because also before a conference you need to research your country and you need to do that in a clever way, in a time efficient way. Uh, time management is another one. Leadership skills, because obviously um, if you attend a conference abroad, uh, so for instance um, for our upcoming conference in Tilburg we've got delegations coming from uh, well, Ghana, Russia, Georgia, um, and obviously someone has to take the lead there. So leadership skills play another uh, important role. So it's a combination of all of these different soft skills, these skills and abilities which are um, absolutely crucial in the 21st century that all combine and uh, combine to form a holistic picture. Hey guys, I'm here with the delegation from Kuwait uh, who came like a really long, uh, long way. Um, first question. Why did you guys come to the World United Nations? Uh, we came uh, all the way uh, from Kuwait to Tilburg to explore the beauty of the city, Tilburg. And uh, we uh, we went on a flight for like uh, seven or six hours, which was so long. But okay. it was all worth it. When you hear a speech about how important it is to uh, speak in public properly, how important it is to negotiate, how important it is to listen to others, that's all fine when you listen to it, but during an MUN conference you put all of those uh, skills into practice and I think that is where the differentiation comes in um, and I think that is something that MUN can be very proud of. Um, so on Saturday um, the delegates, the students, um, they um, put their uh, skills into practice. That is when they are divided amongst four different committees. This year we've got the Human Rights Council and the Security Council, the International Court of Justice and the European Council. Those committees will be um, st simulated um, and delegates with their countries that they have been assigned previously and that is when the debate happens and that happens in smaller groups of about 20 to 30 people depending on the committee of course um, and that is when resolutions are, are first drafted and hopefully passed at the end. And on Sunday, we will be in the uh, town hall uh, here in, in Tilburg. And uh, well, that is a bit of a surprise for the delegates. Uh, they might be expecting a regular General Assembly plenary session. Um, but I can tell you that uh, there, there might be in for a bit of a surprise. Okay, so what might this surprise be? Well... <laughs> Perhaps they might have to deal with the crisis uh, simulation, but I can't tell you much more at this stage. If you haven't yet done so, uh, tilburgmun.com is the website to, to go to this evening. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, just 
contact us via Facebook or email. We'll be happy to hear from you. So I hope you guys did enjoy that vlog about the tour of Model United Nations. If you have any suggestions about what you want to see in the next vlog, you can send us an email via vlogcrewtourwithuniversity at gmail.com. You can place a comment section, uh, uh, you can place a comment in the comment section below, uh, or you can just send us a message via YouTube. We'll put all of that in the description down below uh, as well, so you can quickly find how to do that. For now, I just hope you guys have a nice day and see you guys in the next vlog.